What's going on guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create this cool warp explosion effect inside of After Effects. Alright, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and rotobrush out our subject or our person here. We got our guy Yeet here, so we just got to rotoscope him out and to do that you just want to select your rotobrush up here and double click on the layer and then it will open up like a new uh, composition or like a new viewing layer right here. Uh, it might look a little bit different on your After Effects layout, but this is just how I have my thing laid out. But what you want to do is just do a rough outline around your subject so it doesn't have to be too perfect just try to get a nice starting frame here and as you can see it did not do too good of a job around the corners so we just want to fix that up if you hold alt on your keyboard it will actually remove the selection so yeah just hold alt and it will remove the rotor brush and you also want to make sure that you are in full quality over here and not like quarter or half because your rotor brush will be a lot worse uh, like quality and the track just won't look as good so yeah make sure you're in full quality and your quality up here is in best and your version is at 2.0 all right so this looks pretty solid for the first frame i'm just gonna hit the arrow keys on my keyboard to kind of start going frame by frame looking at the rotor brush here it's looking pretty good i don't see any uh mistakes in it looks pretty solid i'm just gonna skip forward and honestly it's probably gonna be pretty easy for this rotor brush because you're just kind of barely moving around so yeah looks solid so once you have done that you just want to go up here and hit freeze and it's going to freeze all your uh, rotor brush frames all right so that just finished freezing so we can just close this layer and now we have just this layer of yeet comped out so it's just on this black background here and if you want you can feather it out just a little bit like put it up to 10 or something just so you have a little bit of nice feathering around the corners here and what we want to do is duplicate this layer two more times or i guess two times so Control d one two just like that so now we have three layers here in our composition and on the bottom one we want to delete the rotor brush and same thing on this middle layer so the rotor brush is really only being used on this top layer here now the first effect that we want to apply to this middle layer is cc uh, mr mercury and we're just going to bring that onto our middle clip and I'm just going to lower this resolution back down to like third so I can actually play this stuff back. But yeah, what we want to do is go up to our velocity, change our velocity to 20 and our birth rate to 40. Now, these values might change depending on your clip. That's kind of how I noticed when doing this effect is honestly, I always have to like mess with them and change them. Like sometimes I'll have like 10 and like 20 and then sometimes I'll do like 20 and 40. 50 or something but for this one i found 20 and 40 to work the best and kind of give like the best effect so now we have like this kind of like water droplets almost uh exploding like towards the screen here and we're going to change our gravity here to two so now it's kind of moving a little bit faster and everything's just kind of going all over the place um, but yeah that's pretty much everything for this effect so we can just close that now what we want to bring is warp so bring warp over here to our middle layer and we want to change this to twist now set this bend to negative 100 at the start of your like composition or video here keyframe that and then go to the very end here and make that a zero and when we play that back you can kind of see it like twisting so it's not just like stationary and now what we want to do is just close this or you can just leave it open i kind of like to have everything kind of neat while we're working on this uh effect right here the next effect we want to bring on here is cc lens and we just want to bring this onto our middle clip once again and mess with the size here so make the size all the way down to zero or wherever you can't see like the actual like clip here so zero works the best here and once again you want to keyframe the size zero at the start and I go to the very end and put this up to like 500. So now when we play this back, you can see it like explodes into your face pretty much. And it just gives off a pretty cool effect. All right, so now we want to bring in our glow onto our clip. So we're just going to bring this on here. For this glow, I like to change a few effects on here because the default glow looks pretty bad uh, compared to the other like plugins that you may be familiar with, like Deep Glow and uh, the S underscore Glow and all that. If you do have Deep Glow already installed, I recommend probably just using that. But for all you guys that don't have any plugins for After Effects, I'm showing you guys how to do this without anything. So 
That's kind of why I'm making this tutorial. So the glow threshold, we're going to make like 15 and the glow radius. I'm going to make it 20. Keep the glow intensity at one. Um, and then we're going to change the original colors right here to A and B colors. So now we're using these colors right here instead of the colors that are originally from the footage. So now we can like mess with the colors here. So I'm going to do like a purple, like maybe like a light kind of purple. And for color B, we want to change that to whatever color I don't know, we could do. Another kind of light purple or like a, a blue kind of whatever looks good in your footage. We could even do like green or something to kind of match the cars in the background, but this kind of pops out more. I mean, it could pretty much be done right there, but we're going to add another effect called optics compensation. Bring that onto our middle clip once again. And we want to just keyframe the zero here. And oh, actually, we want to select this reverse lens distortion right here make sure that's on i forgot to turn that on but yeah just make sure that's on and then keyframe this to like 130 or maybe 120 something where you can kind of see it like starting to push in towards you so when we play that back it's slowly like kind of building up you can kind of see with it off there's not really much motion in it but with it on, it just adds like a subtle little effect to it that I kind of like. Now, the last effect that I'm going to add that is optional is uh, a glitch. This is another built in effect here, but it's VR digital glitch. And you want to just apply that to your middle clip here and make sure this uh, VR digital glitch is underneath your warp effect here. So uh, your CC Mercury and then glitch and then warp. And now we have like the glitch going on in the background. And what we want to do with the glitch is open it up or it might already be open for you. But we just want to keyframe this. So this little slider right here, keyframe it at 60 all the way to 360. And when we play that back, you got like some glitch effect happening in the background. And you can kind of see like this red and green and I guess blue around the edges here. So it kind of gives more of a different effect that you don't really see. Uh, with this warp so i kind of like how that looks that's pretty much it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed watching this and you learned something new from this and if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to my channel i'm almost at a thousand subscribers so that would be really sick if i could hit that and yeah i'll see you guys on the next video peace out